Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm back again with another video. Um, so today I'm going to be doing my um, 3,000 subscriber special video. Um, you guys, like I said in the previous video, you guys knocked that one out of the park. Um, and I don't have my, or, I was about to say I don't have my phone on me, but it's, it's in my hands. Um, but you guys broke 3,000, and then, like, really within a short amount of time, we already have 100 even more subscribers. Um, so I want to thank you guys for that. And in my last video, I said that I wanted to make this a special video and not just review anything. Um, so while searching for Woodland Alice Gear, Alice Gear made in the US with leftover GI material um, in Woodland Camo, I found one of the items that I wasn't even looking for, and that is the Six Color Desert Alice Two Quart Canteen Cover. Um, so, without further ado, let's have a look. So, as you can see, you have your US stamp, your normal quick release buckles like on Alice Gear, your water purification tablets pouch, your side D rings for the general purpose strap. your Alice clips and they even put a stamp on here cover water canteen 2 quart collapsible DLA 1989 national stock number manufacturing company I'll get you guys a good look at that <clears throat> now I actually did google the national stock number and <coughs> it goes to the OD Green canteen cover, not... They never actually issued Six Color Desert or Chocolate Chip Camo canteen covers like this. Um, this was made... I'll let the camera will focus. There we go. This was made with leftover GI material. So like the BD... or the DBDU uniform fabric or um... Alice pack cover fabric, uh, nylon trim, that sort of thing. But it very well could have been made in the late 80s or early 90s. I have no doubt of that. And it does show its signs of age, like this stain here. The stain here is really bad in person. I mean, I think it looks good that it shows its age. So I don't really know how old this is. I do suspect that it was made in the early 90s. Um, and as you can see it even has instructions. This I just threw in there. Um, I just bought it in the by itself. You can see the lining. The general purpose strap. Now it didn't come with this one. It actually came with this very very thin canvas one a lot thinner and I noticed the hardware has an anchor and that is a dead giveaway of Vietnam era hardware and that was just in the bottom like normal but for the video, I thought I would throw in this one. This one came from that one. So, and it is made to USGI specs. If you didn't know any better, you would think that this was issued. However, it was not. Um, but I saw one of these sell on eBay four or five years ago. And I've always, well, probably, probably about six or seven years ago. And I've always wanted one. 
So I'm glad that I finally own one. I'm very, very thankful for it. It did have a desert US patch, US flag patch right here. Um, I took it off because I didn't really like it on there. Um, it had the stars going this way, so I would always have to mount it backwards because this is the front. Um, but even the, I don't have the patch with me, but even the patch looked old, not like the normal Tacticool um, Coyote Brown patches. So I will show you guys the uh, only Alice two quart canteen covers that were ever legitimately issued. And that is one in Desert Tan. This is an old one, contracted back in 1982. There is photographic evidence of GIs with these in Desert Storm. And it's even named a Baker. I'll set this one aside for now. And then the Woodland Camouflage one. And I have purification tablets in here. And made in 19 or contracted in 1990. And this one is in excellent shape. I do have a newer two quart canteen though, with the gas mask top. Of course, you still got your instructions. General purpose strap. Same thing with this one. Sorry, I'm running out of space here. Instructions, tan um, pile lining, and a cotton general purpose strap, not a nylon one. So these are the only two that the US ever actually issued. Later on, they did have a different style of the tan one. Here's the new one. Thicker US. Did have the nylon general purpose strap. Overall exactly the same, except 2004 contract. And this one is made by Unicor. They made a lot of Alice gear in the early late 90s, early 2000s. So those are the only two styles that were ever issued. This one is technically commercial or a aftermarket item. However, they are still very, very cool and not easy to find at all. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something new. Um, if you guys have any questions about this thing, just go ahead and let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. I really don't know if that's the actual manufacturer. Probably not. I don't know who manufactured these. Um, so the review is done. If you guys want to click off, you can. Um, but I'm going to talk about some other things that have recently piqued my interest again. Kind of like an old hobby rediscovered. And that is the Star Wars toys. Now, if you guys remember my old videos, I did do a video about all my Star Wars stuff. Um, mostly older stuff. However, this, these items are stuff that was on shelves when I was a kid growing up in the early 2000s. Um, I don't remember this one ever, ever seeing it, but I for sure had both of these guys. Um, I found, uh, some of these at an antique store and, um, another one at a collector shop, but, uh, just seeing them again made me reminisce about my childhood, so I decided to pick them up. Um, while I was at the antique store, I did run into these ones. Now, uh, I think it's for the Gen X, right? Gen Xers. These are the ones from the original movie coming out. More specifically, Empire Strikes Back, so like 19, I think 1980 or 1981. Um, these ones, I did have some of growing up, but that was just because, again, going to like collector shops. Um, 
but seeing the prices on these things now definitely make me wish I would have bought more of them back when they were cheaper. But, uh, no, I'm not really sure what my plan is with this stuff. Um, but like I said, it's just kind of like an old hobby rediscovered. Um, I think I was about eight or nine when I started really actually, like, collecting, not just being a kid wanting Star Wars toys, but actually collecting uh, vintage stuff like these um, from the original movies. Um, but, so yeah, guys, um, that's what I've been up to. Um, also, another exciting thing was, so a few months ago, my brother's work, one day, they all came in, and they gathered everybody and said, we're taking everybody on a paid trip to the Dominican Republic, and they allowed a plus one. So my brother let me be his plus one, and we were there for about a week, and I we had a blast. Um, that was both of our first time traveling outside the country, um, and it was our first time, well, not really our first time, but been a while since we've been into a, a tropical place, and it was, it was great. Um, if you guys ever get a chance, I would say definitely... Definitely travel outside the U.S. Um, I it was a good great experience, and I got some sun too. Already peeling a lot, but you could tell where my watch was. So, anyways, guys, that is gonna wrap it up for my 3,000 subscriber special video. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and thank you guys for making this channel happen and sticking it out over the years. Um, it is, sometimes it, it's crazy to think that I started this channel when I was 16 and now I'm 22. So, definitely some time has passed. It doesn't seem like it, but when you actually look and think about the grand scheme of things, it, it really has. Um, so thank you guys for being a part of that. I appreciate it. Um, anyways guys, I'll catch you on the next video.